I'm Heidi. Hi, I'm Nell. We're one-to-one diet consultants. We put a video up every week talking about all things weight loss, being a one-to-one diet consultant and being busy mums. And this week we are going to talk about something we get asked a lot about, um, especially if people have never heard of the plan. And that is the cost of the plan um, and how much this plan compares to others and how much it will cost you and all those things. So we're not going to talk specifics because every consultant charges slightly differently in a slightly different way. And if you go on the website, you can see on average what you will pay. And it's around about £2.60 per product. That's still less than the price of a fancy coffee at one of those fancy coffee places. Or any coffee place. I stopped yeah, the other day coffee place. Got a coffee and I was shocked and it was ringing in my ears because it is one that a lot of people compare it to because it is such an easy comparison to make that we don't... Um, we don't track that money often, you know, where they talked about the prep tax, didn't they? When everyone goes back to the office, if we go back to that level of normality with commuting, um, when people return to those jobs, the kind of, you know, the, the tax that, you you know, the, the prep sandwich and the cup of coffee and the and they're not really thinking about it because it's not a significant amount of per, um, money to spend in a single point purchase. But the other thing I think about that is that there's there's that the, the element of is it accountable money? It's not money. You don't necessarily get a receipt. It doesn't necessarily show up. You don't really have to, you don't really have to account for it anywhere. And so it just sort of magically disappears. When I was really struggling with my weight, there was money that I would spend when I filled up the car with petrol. Yes. The binging that happened in the Grab car. Grab a chocolate bar. Or no, it doesn't, doesn't count because it's, it was petrol money. Yeah, all those trees that you put in the shopping trolley that don't count because you're just doing your weekly shop. So but they're just part of it. The same. And so that doesn't count as that money because it came out of that pot of gold or it came out of that pot of gold. And so when we're staying accountable to what we're eating and how much we're spending, um, there is all of this. It's almost like there's food that I need. There's stuff that I need. And that comes out of one set. And then there's fun money. And it comes out of that extra little bit, bit of disposable income that we don't need to stay accountable for. And so I think there's a narrative shift there. And it's one that a lot of us will hold our hands up to admit. It's one that a lot of us won't hold our hands up and admit to. That, that people, when they really are vehemently saying that they cannot pay the price of the plan without appreciating any of the added value that we, we kind of wanted to talk about today, you, you do have to have the self-awareness to do a straight comparison. How much yes. are you really spending on food? And not just food, but alcohol a lot of times as well, because that's a different pot that we're definitely not including in that's our food bill. I don't drink, so I don't. But yes, yes. sometimes I, do, I don't drink and I don't eat red meat. But my gosh, sometimes if I did, I look at the prices out there and I think my shopping bill would be astronomical. I know people think nothing of spending nine pounds on a bottle of wine because it's not necessarily in their shopping budget. It's a little bit extra. It's not really included. Out of a separate yes 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 and so I think sometimes you know I'm going to be honest when I was at the start of my journey the amount of food that I was consuming was quite a lot to enable me to maintain that weight <laughs> and there was you know how much is money motivating though so if I was to put all of the food that you were eating on a trestle table a la a weight 90s era and try and shame you with all of the food that you know the sea of beige that you ate basically you're going to become Gillian McKeith without putting poop in a box I mean I wasn't going to go there I was <laughs> going to put all the money that you spent on said beige gram in a box and present it with you to you and you would be shocked but then if we're going to go down that road then people also get shamed on television for the money that they spend doing top-up shops in between their so-called you know, meal planned, perfect weekly shop. And then secret cameras follow them around the supermarket. And then the bald one from MasterChef suddenly leaps out of the... <laughs> and he, also, he stands there with all these receipts going, well, don't know if he told you this, but he also spent X, Y, and Z at the Echo Garage. I mean, it's, you know, we, we're not honest with ourselves. And you no. know, because I don't know about you and your husband, but we only have to look at each other, you know, with a little look like that. You don't even have to say anything. And the, and the takeaway is on order. Now yeah. that. That's, that's somebody else's weekly budget blown on one Friday night meal as a treat. So, you know, it, 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 it would be unfair to do an actual penny for penny comparison. But I think a very wise consultant once said, it's expensive to cheat. Yes. It is an investment. Of course it is. It is an upfront cost. It's not spread throughout the week. So it can feel enormous 
the weekly outlay. So for example, I charge price, price per step, but you get one appointment a week to collect your products, don't you? So you spend it all up front and you're not comparing it to the overall cost. And you haven't done that gear shift in your head where it's an instead of. Yes, exactly. And I, and I operate the same price point as you as price per step, which you know makes it easy for people to know exactly where they are with it. And if you're worried, but, it's, it's, this, it, it's as well as, and as well yes. as the, husband, the, the, the budget for your husband, partner, friend, as well as the food for the kids. Yes, there are some people genuinely who cannot afford to do the lowest steps, the most expensive because they're product heavy. Yes. Plan. But, you know, you have to, you have to, I would encourage you to be honest with yourself about whether or not you really can't afford it. Because what makes it expensive is to spend that money with a consultant and then buy a nine nine pound 20 pound whatever bottle of wine on a friday night that's when it gets expensive 100 percent. and the higher steps you know the the steps are different prices and the higher steps have less products in them so they're going to be cheaper and that is about having that conversation with your consultant as well and being very they, honest they will be cheaper with your consultant yes that all that means is you'll be spending less money with me yes but not with mr sainsbury no it's not you can't do plan on two products a day so no, you need two products and six to 800 calories, whether you're on step three or step four, that food isn't free. So no. you would need to, you, what you would do is you need to stay accountable to that food, plan it, buy it, purchase it for that reason. And people have huge success budgeting on those steps, but that's not what a lot of people want. What they want is to, 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 to buy themselves out of the mental load of having to do all of that meal planning and prepping and all of the rest of it because they're not in that headspace and that's where they want to buy themselves out of that by using three or four products a day and doing sole source um now sole source on step 1b with me is 10 pounds a day same so, with me as well again it's just it's just a case of you know it's like any investment an investment in yourself it's you know it's the same conversations you have with yourself before buying anything you know over a certain limit we all have different limits don't we and we you know but yeah you and you, you could easily spend 10 pounds a day um in normal times when we're back at work on a meal deal and a coffee on the way to work and a snack in the afternoon and something from the vending machine and then you know maybe some a bottle a glass of wine in the evening or half a bottle of wine in, like it soon adds up to be the same amount so I think it is about being very honest with yourself. Um, you buy, uh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, I was just thinking, this is entirely personal and I will share yes. it only because it's something that other people might identify with. When I'm struggling with my, when I was struggling with my weight before I did this and lost seven stone, I was always looking, searching and would throw money at something that I thought would fix the situation yes. for me, something that I thought would get me the heck out of Dodge. And what I always wanted to do, consciously or not, was add something. So I used to spend a lot of money on keto pills, weight loss pills, um, stevia, juices, books, endless books, um, apps, this, that, that, and I would add things. And and, and when I first came, ac came across Cambridge Weight Plan one to one diet, as it is now, it was the first time that somebody had said stop stop adding stop trying to add magic vitamins that cost so much money and just take everything out yeah and it was really really what i needed to do and so in that regard it saved me a huge amount of money and it also saved me a huge amount of of, of anxiety yeah that mental overwhelm isn't it of, of having that constant thought all the time and even shame him that i spent buying a new stationary planner because this is going to be the meal plan that changes my life the same here. I spent a ton of money on all of those things, thinking this will be the magic thing that works. This will be the magic thing that works. Um, and actually doing Soul Source for me did give me that space, take everything out, have a think, take that mental load off. And it was that investment in myself. And one of the things that I said to myself in the beginning, which sometimes rings true because it makes you look at it in a different way, and obviously how much you spend on the plan will be very individual to each person, how long you do the plan, how much you've got to lose, what step you choose, everything. But I said to myself, if now I said to you tomorrow, pay me £2,000 and when you wake up, you'll be a size 12. I, I would have found that money. 
I would have found that money. I would have done anything to find that money to get me to where I wanted to be. If you cut me a check for X amount and it's done, what would you do? And I think thinking about it like that, if someone came to you tomorrow and said, pay me this amount of money and you can have all these things you really wanted for yourself, you do it. It is about investing in yourself and seeing it in a different way. And it's a short-term expense. The idea of investing, that phrase you just used, the idea of investing in yourself feels very foreign because your self-worth is often so low. So what I think one of the best things that you get, and I think consultants add value in a multitude of different ways to to the weight loss process, but I think really you've just got it there. I think the number one thing that a consultant adds is that um, coaching quality of reminding you that this is an exercise in self-care is not my favorite phrase, but investing in your future self and playing the long game and, you know, reminding you that you are worth this investment and it's not a one hit wonder for a week. It's not, you know, we're not going to mistreat the process like, uh, you know, like a, like a fad, like a miracle fix. We're, We're in it together for the long term and to offer the support that will actually get you pound for pound, the best investment that you, the, the best, the biggest bang for your buck. Yeah. And that support is included in that price. You're not paying anything extra for that, that support that your consultant provides that helps you get to achieve those goals that you really, really wanted to achieve. At the I beginning. think going back to our video last week or was it or the week before? Um, and that's why I think we, we do mention so often find the right consultant for you, because when you, you, you know, you get out what you put into this process. Yes. And if you have a good relationship with your consultant and you, you know, you, you are open minded and you are coachable and you can take advice sometimes, you know, badly, <laughs> you know, we all do sometimes. But if you are generally um, able to engage with your consultant and the process, you are likely to have a better outcome weight loss wise. Yes. Um, and, and that, you know, that needs to come from somebody that you like, care or, you know, would even care to pick up the phone to once a week. Exactly. And, you know, it is a lot a short term expense. You know, it's not going to be ongoing. You are spending this money on yourself to give yourself the future that you want for a finite amount of time. And then you can just, you know, can go get on with your life and, and not have to worry about your weight and anymore. I, and and I, re- I, I understand that that resentment to pay. Yes. I, I do. Um, I, I've always said if we were available on the NHS, then we we should we absolutely should be. I mean, we are we are essentially, you know, whether we come from recommendations from other slimmers of ours or from, you know, GPs in the area who who know about the services that we offer and, and might signpost in our direction. We are the equivalent of, of going private. Um, and and we you know, some of us are trained coaches. Some of us aren't. Some of us rely on good old fashioned support and personal experience. And there are you know, people coming at it from all different directions. But, you know, find the right person for you to offer the right support for you. And they don't charge for any of those skills, any of that stuff that goes above and beyond. So that's why we're more one of the reasons why we're more expensive than buying things online. Yes. I don't know. You, you mentioned earlier about comparisons to other plan. I don't know. I deliberately don't know about any other diets because I don't I don't know. Once I found the thing that worked, I stopped buying all of the things that we just. Exactly. But I think that's it, isn't it? When you're comparing it to other plans, it's not comparing like for like. It is finding something that's going to work for you. And it is appreciating that where you put your investment, that's what's going to work. It's a little bit as well. Having a bit of skin in the game. If mm. you've paid for something and it's costing you money, you're more likely to make that thing work. <laughs> do you go to the gym? Does, it, does every single person go to the gym because they love it? Or do they go yes. because they've worked out that they have to go X amount of times for a week to make it to work? Make it work. And that's their motivator to get home from work, get into their gym kit and get the heck back out of the house. Because a lot of people want their home, their home and they're in lockdown for the evening and they're not going out again. But sometimes because you paid for it and you said you were going to do it and that's what keeps you on plan I had one lady who used to keep every single copy of her invoice receipt that I gave her because that was you know and and whether she would use it as a stick to beat herself or you know it depends what kind of mood she was in either way she found it very motivating well and the the more you stick to it and have that motivating factor I'm paying for this I'm going to stick to it 100% the quicker you'll be way at your target and the sooner you'll have you'll you'll be able to stop paying it so you know there's benefits in in having that little bit of skin in the game and thinking okay i've got to make this work 
<laughs> redirect some of that money um, to uh, to to clothes. To new yes. Water. Thing. Well, and this is the other thing, you know, being overweight comes with its own cost, aside from the cost of food. Oh, you'll be paying somewhere. You'll be paying in the supermarket. You'll be paying in the clothes shops for being a clothes. Yeah. You'll be paying somewhere. You know, there's costs involved with being overweight that don't come into your calculation. So it's it's about where you want to spend your time, money and energy and focusing on that and thinking about what you want for your life and how this could benefit you. And just taking those few months to say, this is what I'm going to do for me and putting yourself at the top of the list just this one time, which I know is really hard to do because that's how I ended up where I was. I did not put myself really at the top to. of the and list. And it also takes an incredibly brave person yes. to say, compared to the takeaways and the booze and the this, that and the other, I saved I saved a significant amount of money. Um, yes. and, 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 you know, the, the, the added value is, is the one-to-one. -one. So it is difficult to quantify, but, you know, we're here to, to bounce back, to ask open-ended questions, to, to provoke reflection um, and to, to make those long-term habit changes. So it's not like you'll pay your consultant, you'll lose weight and then um and then you'll go back to the way you were before you know we, we want to set people up to have long-term you know the long-term benefits which means you won't go back to eating the secret no. eating the binging the you know the whatever was going on before i you know save money in the long term as well yes i i have increased my self-worth my self-confidence and i i don't now treat my body like the pub <laughs> that I used to treat my body yeah I mean I remember you know we don't, don't we don't we don't you know there's no miracle answer that you know become absolutely perfect and never you know fall, fall off the wagon at all but I know that sometimes I don't do things because of the money that I won't spend on abusing myself like that anymore yes. so that's it but that's that's a slightly sort of you know that's that's but I do remember saying to you I don't want to have to do this again I don't want to have to spend this money again. I don't want to have to go through this process again because it is challenging and it can be difficult to, to lose weight no, and learn those new habits. No, to lose the same stone three times. No. no, let's not do it again. Let this be the last time you have to make this investment to get you to a place. The steps are there to make sure that when you get to maintenance, you have a plan and you have the confidence to keep it off. This is the last time we're going to do the plan. And this is the last time that you'll have to make this huge investment to resolve this issue that's been going on for some time and then you can just get on with your life which sounds bloody amazing if you ask me <laughs> yeah and if that's, true, if that's true of bigger weight loss journeys it's also true of short weight loss journeys yeah. you know short term short term investment in yourself push the reset button get yourself back on track do you know to just to, to the self-worth again to do what you already know you should be doing but you're not really in the headspace to be able to do so you are paying for that support that motivation that you know that 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 gentle nudge as well yeah. So, you know, fundamentally, we are making our money from selling products, but you don't get any less support from your consultant if you're on step five. No. And, and using five products a week than you would if you were using 28 products a week. That's that's not that's not our game. That's not who we are um, as a as a brand. And, and, and that's not why we do the role that we do. So, you know, if you do need to budget and I will always put this, I always put this in my welcome email as well. You know, we'll make it work for you, your needs, your lifestyle, but also your budget. Um, yeah you you have to you know we'll have to stick together and do meal plans and work out you know work out the best way of doing it one of the cheapest ways to cook as a mother of three is batch cooking yeah. which is fantastic when you're on plan so let's come up with a small repertoire of, of of healthy food options that you do want to eat you know let's not kid ourselves we're all going to become perfect overnight and start eating buckets of lettuce not that that's perfect anyway um let's let's invest in you know those cuts of meat that are you know better when you you know you can buy the big family packs and let's portion them out let's you know find recipes that we like together batch cook it and then you've got the magic fairies having done the cooking for you know several nights for the next three weeks kind of thing so it's it you know you you get a lot more than just the products i think it's important to say yes that. um in actual, you know and if you if you are using 28 products a week then yes, in the short term, your consultant does make more money. But when that person goes up through the steps, that's when we earn our stripes. That's really when the legwork starts because suddenly they haven't built those skills necessarily along their way, you know, along the weight loss journey. They get nearer to their goal weight and then we start introducing food. And that's yes. when somebody needs a bit more support and a bit more handholding. That's completely normal. So and that's the huge benefit of this plan, isn't it? You know, you're not on your own. We're going to help you learn healthy yeah, habits and implement them. And encourage you to invest in yourself. 
Yeah, exactly. You know, we're going to be there. So you're not on your own. And by the time you get to maintenance, you will have that confidence back in yourself that you can make those healthy choices, that you know what you're doing, that you have a plan that's easy for you, that fits around your lifestyle, that fits in with the kids. All of that stuff will be there for you. And that is part of what you're paying for as you buy the products as you go along yes so i really hope that helping to break that down has helped to you know that that initial <gasps> it's how much has just helped to ease some of those objections because yeah some of those objections are are absolutely entirely reasonable but some of them just are being shouted through a late loud hailer from the gremlin <laughs> from the little gremlin back here that's going well that's easy i can't do it i don't have to do it because it's got so much money exactly <laughs> so uh, yes we hope that's helped if you do have any questions about anything we discussed here or you want to ask us anything else or you would like us to discuss anything else you could just put it in the comments below or contact us for our contact information below and um, we put a video up every week please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any and we will catch up with you next week bye bye thanks Heidi bye <laughs>